is here and he's mad. Everybody look out, Mike Minotti's bad. He's got the raps and the really mean rhymes. Mike Minotti doesn't give you the time of the day. <laughs> so watch out. It's gonna punch you. Your lights are out. All right, well, that was all recorded, so I got good <laughs> evidence. Oh, good. Oh, trust me, I am, I am not embarrassed. <laughs> I'm proud of those mad raps. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna ask Jason to like check the stream, see how we sound for him. I'm gonna, and then, uh, I'm gonna get rid of this fedora. Oh. I think I have a bit too much of a my late my lady look going on right now. My lady. Lady. I don't want a headband. Okay, I think yeah, Jason's about to check, and then once if he confirms that we everything looks and sounds good, then uh, then we'll get started and we'll share the stream and stuff. Sounds good. Although Jason's really a big dummy, and probably smells bad. Yeah, I right. He's watching. I hope that. he's not here. Be, or listen, yeah. that'd be super awkward. Yeah, definitely. Wow. I can just wear my hero outfits from the single player campaign now. They have extra bonuses. I'll do that. Did you play the single player? Only a little bit. I've played like I feel like the first five stages. Okay. Yeah, like that first world. I really liked the single player. Yeah, I, uh, what I played so far, it's been actually really interesting. It's really cool, like, when you get to a boss. The bosses are really Yeah, the fantastic. boss is really good. Uh, again, I was kind of surprised by the whole thing, because they barely talked about it. I like the idea of, like, this mini game that you can play on the gamepad while you wait for, like, a finding a match. I just wish, like, the mini game was a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I think what they, I think they said, like, you, I thought you'd be able to, like, buy more mini games or something like that. Oh. Like, with, like, your in-game coins, but I never saw that, so maybe not. That would be. Maybe that was a lie. Yeah. Okay, all right, then, let me, uh... Jason, say it looks good? Yeah, he's, a. Uh... I think he's trying the uh, the high quality setting right now to make sure the video looks good. But we sound good, he says. So. Well, we always sound good. I sound amazing. I know that much. Are people? I heard... Are people seeing me too, or are they just hearing me? They're just hearing you. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. I, w I don't want to do that to people. Have them see you. Be mean. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> hey now. Hey now. Mike is echoey. Jeff is not. Okay, that's probably something I can fix on that. Yeah, it probably just means that there's something here. Can't. All right. Eh, hello. Test. All right. Can you hear me now, Jason? Test. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey pee, monkey poo. Walls. Okay. Well, I'm going to... I think the best solution for Mike's echoiness is to turn down the Skype volume. Uh, no, it's the world's probably my computer. Hang on, let me get the microphone away from the fan. Here. It could be my window open as well, but I don't know. I'm not gonna, gonna close that. Okay, I think. Uh, well, maybe, maybe it is on Mike's end, but it, again, uh, we'll just have to live with that. What the echo? Yeah, no, the, there's some worrying. He says. Yeah, I think I don't know. I might hear too, but yeah, it might even just be right from my surface. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But who knows? All right. I think that we are. Good to go. I'm gonna share the stream and we'll get started. Alrighty. Mute mic for a second. Alright, hang on. Let me see here. I think. I can actually mute mic and. Can you hear the game audio? 
Jason? All right, there. I, I muted, I think, Mike and the game audio. So you should just be hearing my microphone now. What's it sound like? Test. I, uh, I hate these girls now. I hate that they... I, have to, I mean, there's so... There's so much Nintendo stuff, like, where you, like, you can't skip past, like, the talking. Yeah, it's, pro it's probably the computer fan. I'm, w once we start, I'm going to move the computer away from the mic further. Um, I'll, I'll go close the window right now. Okay. All right. So, can you hear the game audio now? And uh, can you hear Mike again now, Jason? Although Mike would have to talk. Oh, hello, Mike Minotti here. Test. Mike Minotti. No, it's, it's you. Not. It's my mic. Okay, my microphone is working. All right. Just heard Mike, no game. Alright, that means. Where's this? Let me know when, like, he's tweeted out that we're doing this for real disease. Yeah, I will. Get... Can you hear the game audio now? Should be quiet, but not mutable, or not muted. It's gonna. Well, my delay, the delay of my voice and the delay of the game audio should be coming around the same time, so. Okay, is it is it a good volume compared to our voices? Compared to my voice, compared to my voice. Hey, yeah, Mike, you should. When I tested it out earlier, your voice should be a good level. It's hopefully everything's good now. Okay, Doug. Just wait for the confirmation from Jason. All right, cool. All right, well then I'm I'll tweet it. And then I will move the computer far away from the mic, and we should be good to go there. Ready? Let's see here. All right, we're streaming. Streaming Splatoon with Jeff Grubb and Takoto. We'll answer questions you ha if you have them. Twitch.tv forward slash GameSpeed. Okay, it's going out. Alrighty. Uh, Jason, you can keep you can use the GameSpeed account uh, if you want. Then, uh, or if you want to use your account, you can use that, and I'll make you a mod. Uh, it's your choice, but uh, that way you'll have full um, you know authority to ban anyone who's a punk. But I don't think we should have any problems. All right, we are uh, we're live. We just sent it out. Uh, so, Mike, let's I don't know, let's get started. Uh, hopefully, right. we'll be able to find a match. If not, we'll just do some one on one. Right? Yeah, because yeah, their their like review copy of this was really weird. The way they put it, like it's the full game, but our digital codes or dig I think our digital version of the game will no longer work once the actual game is out. Which I've never, you know, again, video game reviewer, first world problems, but. I think my, I think the video for my game just cut out as soon as we started. Hang on, I think <laughs> I'm about to get it back. Hang on. Oh, no. Jeff, you've angered the Twitch gods. Yeah, I know. That's what I did. Hang on, I just something just fell down. I think that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping things. That's why. That's your fault. But can people still hear me? I could sing for them. Oh, he's gone. Good. It's my my stream now.
All right, yeah, I got a big old USB air. It's like everything broke at the same time. Yeah, so sweet air code. I'm coming back online right now. Yeah, like I, uh, I'm using an external hard drive, and like once every month, it'll be like, oh, USB failed. Please turn off your system. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Get the computer away and getting started again. Yeah, now you get to see those sisters do their whole spiel. I know, yeah, God. So, yeah, they do that a couple times a day. I've, I've, I've been, I think I've seen them twice in the same day at least. Yeah, see, you, I haven't yet. I, I don't know what, it's just bad time, but I never see them. Yeah, so it's, it's really, it's really weird to me. This bothered me more than probably you that, like, they only have two maps in the matchmaking rotation at a time and now that's what i'm showing right now i'm showing like them talking right now so all right it, yeah it kind of drives me a little crazy like, and, and i like that i kind of like that you have these two characters and these news people tell you what the maps are and it takes them a while and like you know it's very nintendo we like they're doing the little bad puns and skits and it's kind of amusing it also gets really old after the second time because they start saying the same thing yeah and i i can't skip it i just have to hit a keep hitting a to get through it. yeah right yeah i don't know why is not a skip button I don't, it's just, I mean, there's only six maps in the game anyways. It just seems like that would be fine to just have the six maps in the rotation all the time. It seems pretty obvious that they're going to, like, release new maps maybe as map packs, right? Do you think? Well, I, I, don't, I, I don't know, actually. I think things might be... I don't know. I, I know they're adding modes. At least there, there's one mode they're adding for sure that's just going to be free. I don't know if maps are going to cost money. It's hard It's hard to imagine, right, the, like, the Nintendo Splatoon season pass. Yeah, definitely. I'm uh, I'm going to join friends in regular battle. Let's see if we can get one of these matches. If it doesn't work very quickly, then we'll go uh, do a one-on-one. Okay. okay. Made it. The friend never... you selected is not in a regular battle, so you can't join up. Well, oh yeah, do I have to, like, Come go on, to Mike. a first and just join me? Do we... Okay, so maybe I... Go to regular battle and then you join me? Yeah, so, okay, so uh, I'll join in a regular battle and then you pick me from the join friend list. Alright, fair enough. I of course, yeah, of course Nintendo makes it confusing. You <laughs> can't just party up. No. no. Alright, I've got four people in the, in the thing right now, so you should have space if you try to join. There we go. So, the now reggae music, I'm, I'm into the reggae music. The sound, like, I like I like the whole style of a lot of things. I was trying to like I was asking you how you would define the style. Like all I could think of was like it was kind of jets grind radio. Like yeah, it wasn't so bad. I'm in the thing with you now. What? If, yeah, cool. Is it automatically going to put us on the same team? Won't, won't that be kind of awkward if it doesn't? Yeah, but I, I wouldn't mind killing you. So, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh, splatting yeah. you. I don't know that it's not death in it's this a, game. Look at your level eleven. You try hard. I I am uh I like to be better than you, <laughs> just in general. But, um, Just but in you, life, everywhere. Yeah, so I, I, I asked you what you would call this, and uh, like the term you came up with was liquid neon mall punk. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I, I used that in my review. I liked it. Well, it's, yeah, it's pretty accurate. Like, it definitely has a uh, Hot Topic vibe. Yeah, um, right. Like, maybe a little bit more colorful, maybe right. less yeah. angsty, but still, like, people that, like, go to the mall to, like, to express themselves it's like, in yeah, colors. It's like... What you, it's like what advertisers imagine teenagers being like, you know? Yes, exactly. But it's not, like, too, like, cynical or anything. And it's no. not like I I don't hate it at all. Like, it's doesn't feel like they're, like, like insulting, like, no, teenagers I mean, at the I, same time. Right. No, I do, I do like the style. And it is, kind of, you know, it, it, it is almost kind of done to, like, an amusing degree. Like, everyone's always very concerned about how fresh they are. They throw out mm -hmm. the word fresh a lot. And like that's what like your level is like how fresh you are and like you can't get certain items unless you're at a certain level otherwise yeah, if you're not level four they'll be like you're not fresh enough go be more fresh I'm like, what does this mean and I'm like yeah they won't let you buy anything 
So uh, we should talk about these uh, waiting in these rooms. I, it's, this is probably just because it's before release. I'm only playing with other reviewers. Right, I assume so too. But yeah, you wait a while. Yeah, and it, and so there's a countdown at the top left, like 45 seconds left. Uh, we can't. I can't back out of here. There's nothing you can do. Like you can't press B. The start right. button doesn't do anything. So you just have to wait for either enough people to come, or if that timer ticks off, like it's just like, oh well, we couldn't find anything, so we'll put you back in the lobby, yeah, which the, is frustrating. The worst is when like you you like you've played for an hour, like okay, maybe one more match, and it's like not quite finding enough people, and then like it, it almost counts down, you're like okay, good, I can stop at least, and then it like someone joins, not enough to yeah. play, but the countdown thing restarts. Yeah, again. resets. And, and it, can, I, I, I think it's been like a different like. Um, like the number that it goes up to, like it starts at like 200 seconds, but I think it's been different. I think they've been messing with that. Like it doesn't always go up to 200 seconds, it feels like. Right. Well, they're kind of in an awkward place, and uh, why don't Absolutely. you try again one more time before we end? Uh... Okay. But it, yeah. they're kind of in an awkward place because, like, unlike a Call of Duty or like another team deathmatch thing, where it's not the end of the world where if you don't have an even number of players, because, you know, in, in Call of Duty, if you it's join four me. versus five, yeah, you have one less person, but there's also mm -hmm. one less person that can be killed in a way so it's still yeah. it's maybe it's not super fair but you can still manage in this game at least in this main mode it's about covering things in paint and if you don't have yeah. an even number of players your team is gonna is gonna have less manpower to do that and you're yeah just, it, you're it's, a, it's a guaranteed loss if, if someone like drops out in the middle of a match like you're you're pretty much done for there's nothing you can do right yeah that can get frustrating so yeah the game won't even start until you have full like a full team right like eight players for four to versus four and i think that's why they uh kind of make you like they don't let you back out of the matchmaking because they are they think they already know that you know it's kind mm -hmm. of a, it's going to be a little bit of work to find yeah actually exactly i don't people. i don't mind that they don't let you back out uh, i think there's um i think they've done a lot of smart stuff with that kind of thing, because a problem with these competitive shooters is always people quitting early. Um, and so, you know, this kind of keeps people from backing out before the match even starts. But once you're in there, it's actually pretty hard to tell who's winning and who's losing. There is a way to tell, but it's it's pretty difficult. And I think people aren't even aware when their team's getting completely slaughtered all of the time, so they are maybe less likely to fall out early yeah, and drop out. Yeah, I don't, there's not a lot of rage quitting. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's hard to, like, rage quit because the game just doesn't give you that information. You just need to go out there and play right. and do your best and, and kind of figure right. it out. It, it kind of makes it... It's less stressful. It's not about your kill-death ratio. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, although I, I have been frustrated, for sure. <laughs> well, you're just bad. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and they, they do this interesting t thing, too, where you can play this weird little mini-game on the Wii U screen while you're waiting. Yeah, I wish we could show that. I guess we, I could try to, like, capture your video. But, yeah, it's basically just, like, one of those doodle jump games. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, like, a cool idea. I wish the game was, like, a little bit more to it. It's very simple. Yeah, and it's, uh... It does a good job of, like, saving your place, like, in between matches. Once a match starts, it automatically pauses. But it, even with that, it, like, continuing and getting to the high levels, it does get boring pretty right, fast. Right, especially and when you, yeah, you, like, you redo, like, the first ten levels, and they're just kind of a snooze. It, like, it'll, yeah, it'll save your place... As long as you, like, haven't powered off the system, then you're going mm -hmm. back to stage one and kind of just right. jumping around. Oh, man. Okay, just two more people. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I am yeah. kind of hoping that, assuming that I get a, a final copy of that, I, I wonder right. if this is going to go faster. If this is a, uh, a problem in the final build, then that's, uh, that's an issue. But I just it's hard to imagine that with enough people playing. Because, like, I mean, honestly, we're playing with a bunch of people that are just reviewing the game, so... It's going to probably be even harder today to find a match than it has been in the past. Right, because everybody's review is out. out. They're kind of right. doing other things. But other than this like little like hiccup of waiting for people, waiting for people to come online, uh, uh, I haven't had any connection problems, have you? No, you know, yeah, once games are going, it runs very smoothly, actually. Yeah. And nothing's been, uh, I haven't, like, experienced any of, like, that hitching or, like, the rubber banding of people jumping around in right. matches or anything like that. You get other shooters. Mm -hmm. Um... And hopefully that continues. And we've obviously been, been playing with people all around the world. Like, I've played with some Japanese players and some European players. And I'm in Colorado, uh, and I, that hasn't been a problem. So, right. so they have, they've got some good net code, clearly. I was just talking all this crap about the stupid doodle jump game, and now I'm playing it as we're waiting. <laughs> well, I mean, it is good for that. I mean, thankfully they do have something you can do. Right, yeah, right. I think it's a good idea. I, it's... It is one of the few times where I've seen something kind of neat done with the Wii U gamepad. 
Yeah, I guess that is a use of the Wii U game. Right, right? Yeah. an actual use of the gamepad. But it's interesting with this game because the, the best use of the gamepad is actually with the gyroscope. Yeah, do you use tilt controls? Oh, yeah, it works, it works really do. good for me. Okay, yeah, I, um, I tried them out at E3, and they were good enough uh, in that setting when I was playing with a bunch of other people who, were, uh, who, who hadn't played the game before either. But I felt like once I kind of got into things, like, if I got killed in a situation and I felt like, oh, if only I didn't have the tilt controls on, I, uh, I would have done well, that it got to the point where I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm just always going to use stick controls just so I don't have to uh, have that, like, thing in the back of well, my head where I'm like, oh, I just shouldn't use it. Yeah, well, like, the way it works is, basically, you, you use left and right still, for the most part, the tilt controls is for up and down, and I like it because you can, you know, you can move up and down kind of more quickly than you could by just using an analog stick. And the adjustments yeah. of it kind of works better. I don't know. I don't know why it like just felt right to me for some reason. Yeah, I, I, I definitely. It doesn't. It's not terrible like I thought it would be. It definitely works. And people that kind of, I think, if you get used to it, if you get over the hurdle, it might even have its advantages, like you were saying, which is kind of crazy. I, I, I thought it would just be like this, like the tilt controls for kids. All right, let's let's try one on one and maybe oh, we'll come back. The to, oh, talk, oh, they're they're switching okay. up the level rotation. I guess you were right. Yeah, this is this is why actually I bet this is why we can't get into a game because uh, people have a priority on the new maps and we had to wait. Oh, should we try again? Then you think, or I think let's try one more time. Uh, I know people, people are probably like super enjoying us in uh... yeah. Oh god, I can't do this. And yep, and I have to just like a through this. Guy. Yeah, again, like I appreciate it way like that they you know kind of do like something this kind of production-y with it. Like it's yeah. Cool. I mean, they all, I mean, it seems like they say the same thing every time, so that's kind of, that's kind of lame. Oh, oh, Jason's trying to get me to end 4G things. Yep, well, gotta work while we work. Oh yeah, that's right, I could just hit, I, I'm going over the lobby, but I could just hit the button on the gamepad, I always forget. You can? Yeah, just like, oh, the gamepad like, has all like so the, fun. uh... I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that lobby is kind of kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of like something like um, PSO or something. Yeah, I, I like that. There's like that hub world, and you can like walk. Yeah. Through the again, I like the I kind of like the world building they've done here. Yeah. And again, that, um, it's not, it like, makes it feel more alive. Like, yeah, yeah. Because there's like the people have like their Meverse stuff going. Like they post something to Meverse, you like see it when you're like walking to a game or something. Oh God, no! So that, it's just that's us. See how this yeah, see, that, that countdown started at, like, 80 seconds, so... Well, I think if there's, like, yeah, I think, like, the fewer players there are, the countdown is, like, shorter yeah. than, like... When that, that's probably right. I, I haven't been able to figure it out. I'm sure you're right. There's, yeah, they have some weird algorithm. I don't know. So this is the, uh, like, the regular mode, and then there's also the ranked mode, but, of course, I was never able to get to a ranked match. No. Uh, you can't get into ranked until you're level 10, and since there are so few what? people playing... That's was, not, uh, yeah, and that's not even how it's going to work in, uh, when the actual game comes out. It's going to be like, once so many people reach level 10 and unlock ranked mode, then that new mode will be available. I, I don't know. Really? That's how it works? That's Yeah, really it's weird. So yeah, the, I mean, really, there's pretty much is only one mode, and then, like, that, as the second mode's like a King of the Hill kind of thing. Right. Which I, I, yeah, no. that's, that, there's, there are not a lot of uh, options with the multiplayer. It is pretty much just uh, this turf war kind of covering the map in ink, which, you know, it's a fun mode. And I think even if there were other modes, it would be the go-to. But if you are like one of those people who like to kind of like do like a different thing every once in a while, like play a capture the flag between your team death matches or whatnot, you're going to kind of see a lack of variety here. And they said they're going to uh, come out with new modes, like, later, because it kind of seems like this game wasn't necessarily fully finished, but, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Turp War's definitely been good enough for me. I'm not sure if, uh, if the other modes will even be as good. Right, yeah. It definitely seems like the game was built around that concept. Mm -hmm. What What do you think, uh, what else does Nintendo have this year? Because this is definitely got, a big summer release already. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, they got Star Fox. We don't uh, know much about that. Again, there's like right. yeah, we're probably gonna finally see that at E3. Right. Uh, I think I think they say it's still coming out this year. I think. Really? Um, yeah. I think they did. Yeah. Well, Mario Maker uh, and Yoshi Mario are probably Maker. this year. I imagine. Yeah, that's right. Yoshi's Island or Yoshi's Woolly World. That comes out next month in Europe. Oh, like, really? That's, Weird. Like I saw some, someone was playing that like live streaming that yesterday. Oh, I didn't even know. On like yeah like. Like a reviewer from Germany or something. They have to say, Star Fox must be their big holiday game, I guess. 
but yeah, I guess. Uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully, late Zelda. hopefully it's decent. Um, this is, the, I mean, I think this game will definitely get Nintendo through summer. It is good, and, it, and because it's the only game, I think there'll probably be a lot of people playing it online. Yeah, it's definitely, it definitely is good, and it's nice to see them, like, you know, I was kind of looking into it. I think this is the first time they've really, like, done a new franchise that wasn't, um, like, it's just kind of like a casual game, like a mm-hmm. Wii Sports or a Wii Fit, or just like a mini game collection since Pikmin in 2001. Yeah. So yeah, fifteen like yeah, fourteen years later, here's Splatoon. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't a Mario game, and I'm surprised I'm surprised it wasn't like a me game, like they were like, oh, me shooter or something. Like I think that. they're getting away from the me. I think they're gonna get a, get away from a lot of that kind of Wii yeah. stuff now that the brand has kind of been damaged. Yep, I think you're right. This was definitely the right choice. This is a, it's got a good look. Um, it is something new that they can build on. Uh, they finally have new characters and stuff like that. So, yeah, I bet I bet they'll have the uh, Splatoon squids and Smash Brothers as DLC characters. Oh, sure. if you want. I think I think there's a lot of I think there is a lot of franchise potential here too. I think I can very easily see them doing a Splatoon two and kind of doing fun things with it. Yeah, building on the single player. Like I mean, I know you. I really love like the single that. player. I mean, I was really surprised, but it was just like. The platforming in the single player and the level design, it, kept, it really reminded me of, like, the Mario Galaxy games in a way. And not just because you're kind of, like, you're, you know, basically, like, the levels are built of, like, all these kind of floating, separated platforming sections. You kind of, like, jump from them. So that was very uh, Mario. But just, like, just the idea of, like, kind of shooting the ink and, like, climbing up the walls like that is just very interesting. It's kind of unique and different. Hey, look at that. Another person. Yeah. And I like, I'm like, why did the timer reset? And then, like, someone came in, so it must, like, know it's connecting someone. Mm-hmm. But, uh... You, but you can't see how this was, like, originally developed as kind of a Mario Sunshine spinoff. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, there's definitely... You could see the influence everywhere. Yeah, yeah, Let me ask you, uh... Do you, how much did you get, like, the character customization? Were, were you more about, like, the style, or were you just kind of looking for, like, the best, uh... Like the best weapon and the best like clothing because clothing like has sort of perks on them, right? Right. Yeah. For the clothing, I didn't worry about the perks too much. That was just kind of more about like what I thought looked kind of cool. The what the what the weapons? I was just kind of trying to basically find one of the uh, splatters with uh, like a decent uh, power up. The gr- I haven't used grenades a whole lot to be honest. Mm-hmm. And I have Yeah. And um, I, I I liked using the roar for a little bit, but it just. It just seems like the splatter is really the way to go, at least right mm. now in the game. I don't know if some kind of meta is going to develop, but <laughs> it just, yeah, the, the splatter is basically just like the semi-automatic weapon. And yeah, the splatter shot, not the junior, the, spl- the just the regular splatter shot. Yeah, spl- yeah, it's just, yeah, so, yeah, I think it's called splatter. Because there's the splatter, there's the roars, and then there's like the sniper rifles, I forget what those are called. Right. Okay, so, yeah. And, and, uh, th- is that in your? Are you using like the like a different kind of the splitter? Yeah. I'm using like the 52 gallon or whatever the point 52 yeah, I'm using gallon. One, I feel That's like, really powerful. I'm using one. It has it has like a small range and it kind of has a wide radius, but it has a really fast um, fire rate. So yeah, even though there's only those three types of weapons, there's different stats and stuff. And mm-hmm. they're, they're kind of, it makes them pretty different, and they come paired with different grenades and uh, different power ups. The power ups are almost like uh, Call of Duty perks. Yeah, like uh, instead of kills, it's about covering things in paint. Yeah, I mean, some of them are really good at killing. Like, there's that big like, uh, like paint sound wall thing that like shoots out of uh, like a funnel of sound like in a certain direction. If any anyone the other team's caught in that, they'll get killed. And then once they're killed, your paint will spray. But that's the only way to like to use that to like to paint the uh, the floor. But there's like the the rocket as well, like a rocket, which is just like calling in a rocket like attack in Call of Duty. And you just pick a plant point on the map and you press it and it kind of just it hits right there and again it'll kill anyone that's there but it also cover like parts of the area that you selected in paint so and it, a lot of it's kind of like let's yeah. one do okay one v ones here yeah let's try some one v one they have a whole different like a lobby for it yeah I, mean, I haven't even tried it so let's see the battle dojo yeah battle dojo <sighs> See, one plays on the... Okay, so this is just... So this is only in person, huh? I think this is only... Yeah, I think the battle that goes only local co Oh, my God. All right. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to go into single player and see if I can have you watch me and maybe we can talk about that a little bit. All right. That's good. i got to talk to this squid man, right? Okay, 
Let's see. I'm going to try one more time to share my screen with you. If not, you can just watch on the, uh, the stream. I'll, I'll go into the lobby, and if uh, it looks like I need one more person to get a thing going, I'll let you know. How about that? Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I can watch you over here on my phone. Okay, cool. So, uh... This is just the basic like single player stuff. Um, I, love that. I, I played a few levels. Did you did you play through the whole thing? Yes, played through the whole thing. It's about twenty eight levels or so, I think. So not not a bad size. It's not like as large as a kind of a you know, like regular Mario campaign, I guess. But that was pretty good. I like this little hubble too. Like right now, the, the first area, it's pretty easy to find all the like the entries to the levels. But towards the oh, end, that, that gets more difficult. Yeah, it's like it kind of becomes part of the game. It's like a, almost a platforming puzzle itself, like finding oh, and reaching all of the different uh, kind of they're like little teapot kettles, kind of or something mm -hmm. like that. Oh my gosh! So yeah, I, yeah, if you're gonna be so bad, I'm immediately going into a game in multiplayer. Oh really? It, it did let you? It like it filled up immediately? Just filled up immediately. I don't know. Oh, God. I'll, I'll, All right. Well, let me know when that match is over, and I'll join you. Yeah, I'll keep. Uh, yeah, I'll keep talking with you some of this. I got yeah, so but like I'm in the second area right now, and yeah, you're right. It's already kind of a little bit more difficult to find the levels. They're not immediately obvious. Although I think this is probably what you want up here. Need more zapfish? No, it's not. This is so I got like that's right the boss. Here. Yeah. So it's almost like basically Mario stars, but like yeah, they're like not like necessarily hidden. Right. Exactly. So you like uh, there's like smaller levels around the side of the stage. And yeah, once you play through those levels, like you unlock a zap fish, which is yeah, you're like you said a star, and then that enables you to go fight the boss battle. And like the levels themselves, they're just they're most most of them are just like you know made specifically to be a level in the single player game. There's there's a few times where it'll just take some of the multiplayer levels and kind of put a couple boss, and you kind of like make your way through it. But that's kind of more that's pretty rare. Maybe one of those per like world, maybe one for each map. And it's, uh, it, yeah, it's mostly just kind of, like, shooting uh, bad guys and then occasionally, like, figuring out, like, sort of environmental puzzles, like, trying to figure out exactly where to put your paint to, like, get certain things and picking up power-ups or, not power-ups, but the collectibles. Right. And you don't, you don't, um, you don't bring, like, your customized stuff into it. You can't, yeah. you have only the one gun it's like the pretty standard uh spider thing we were talking about and you have like a certain you have like a set outfit that you wear for it too but you can upgrade the gun by kind of finding these little orbs throughout the uh levels right, right. and uh fun. and it's like you, it is your customized like looking character but that's it and then like the rest of it is like it's like just kind of giving you a reason to play around with the different stuff which is kind of kind of interesting but yeah, it's very Mario to me in that like they each level kind of introduces something new. Like, is this the first level where you have like those fans you can shoot? Right. And yeah, and it's you know so and it, it's kind of like Mario where it introduces that concept and first it's really standard and kind of you know you get the hang of it and it becomes more complicated as it goes and then in future levels you just kind of start seeing that showing up more uh, kind of normally. And it, yeah, it feels like it's already like it's like it's already taught me so much in those earlier levels that I'm like just sort of like not even thinking about it anymore. I just sort of do it. Right, just like that, yeah, it's like that kind of really, like, intuitive Nintendo level design. Yeah, that no one quite does as well as Nintendo, right. for sure. That's and like, it's like, it, it's not something that I was expecting from this, necessarily. Right, that's like, yeah, it's like, the it, single player kind of almost reminds me of like playing like a Ratchet Clank, but with strictly kind of better level design. Right, yeah. But like, maybe not as open as a Ratchet and Clank, or maybe quite as, you know, like, free with, like, Right, it's not as expansive as some games, and that's I think that's just the nature of what right. they were making. They were making a multiplayer game that had more support than you were imagining, but it's not like it's definitely not meant to be just a single player game, although it is still a really fun one. Right, right. Shit. I mean, uh, what? I got rolled over. Oh, I was like winning. I think on. it's a, a really good looking game. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of really, really great effects. I just uh, finished this game here. Okay. I think we lost. Yeah, we lost. All right, let me know if someone drops out. Oh, uh, they always do. Yeah. I think no matter what team you're on, we just call the other team the bad guys in the post-game thing. Yeah, I, I love that, yeah. The good guys won. Makes me feel like Scott Hall. <laughs> the bad guy. <laughs> Another one for the bad guys. Each, uh, each level, too, has, like, at least one, uh, well, not at least one, just one, like, hidden little, uh, 
uh, kind of document, which, like, it, oddly enough, like, goes into, like, the game's lore. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's cool. Yeah, and it's, like, the lore's, like, it has, like, these really realistic, yeah, there's two open spots if you want to try to jump in. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is already, like, kind of getting more intense. I can't, oh, I can go up here. Alright, never mind. Uh, it's a, uh... It, it, I could, yeah, I can see you're right. It's already like starting to give me more uh, complicated fan puzzles and stuff. Yeah, it's not like I, a total cakewalk, you know. It's, it, it can be yeah. kind of challenging. The, the last boss game without like super going into it was super cool and kind of intense. Like, I was kind of feeling my heart go up. Cool. Yeah, can... and that's yeah, that's something that like, we haven't shown yet, but it, it is something like I played the first boss, and you could kind of see like just like how big and, and, and crazy like it can get, and it's like if that's just the first boss, and it was like this big kind of block guy. That was a pretty easy defeat, and actually kind of like standard like Mario design. But it's like if they're bringing that kind of Mario design into this, like it's like you could tell that they really maybe went further with the single player than it was you know ever expected or they even ever explained. Yeah, no, yeah, I yeah, I know. I was just kind of, I guess they maybe downplayed it because the kind of they wanted to really sell the multiplayer aspect of it, which I understand. But I, I was almost kind of expecting, like, you know, just like bots in the multiplayer levels. But there's all these, you know, levels that they made specifically for it. There's all these different assets, these enemies, and uh, everything else. It, you know, it has like a, a bit of a story, not, not, you know, pretty standard, like, kind of Nintendo stuff where it's a very simple sort of story, but it's enough to give you the motivation. Right. Did you, uh, that next match already start up for you? No, there's still two spots, so why don't you try uh, getting in here? Okay, yeah, cool. How the hell do I get out of here? How do I quit, game? Yeah, there's like a button on the bottom left or something that says go back to Inkopolis on your screen. Oh, yeah, I am back in Inkopolis, that's the thing. Alright, so then, how do I. Or back to. Oh, yeah, you're right. On my. On your, yeah. Uh, there we go. That's yeah, like the cool. thing with the Wii U. It's like you forget, like, you have that touch screen sometimes. Right, they, like, put, like, user interface stuff down here, and I'm, like, looking on the TV screen. Joinable. Alright. Watch, you're gonna join. There's gonna be this one empty spot, and we'll just never uh -huh, see it. Uh huh, and then it'll just quit again. Yeah, I'm, I'm still curious about whether or not it's going to put us on the same team. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, 50, 50 chance. Yeah, come on, Nintendo. Like, it would have been, like, so easy. Just make, like, make I'm lobbies sorry. for us. I'm surprised it's not a party system or something. Yeah. All right. We have 150 seconds to find one other person who wants to play Splatoon. <laughs> All right. Feeling good about this. Yeah, me too. This is gonna work. Oh, there it get there it went. We just went reset the two hundred so Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think all you can reset it before like someone actually joins. Right? Maybe. There it goes. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm seeing a lot of the same people here that have been trying <laughs> to do this. Hopefully some of these guys will stick around. Because yeah, the matches themselves are pretty short really, it's just a couple minutes. Yeah, like uh, two, three minutes is what it seems like. Maybe maybe two. I guess we'll look. I never really paid attention. I just know they're short. Hey, we're on the same team. Three minutes, all right. All right we got a spot, we got a guy with a roller. It's good to like, I feel like it's good to have one person with a roller on your team. You yes, can't really definitely. coordinate that or anything. But. No. Yeah, I wonder if they take that into account when they're making teams. Probably not. Well, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, I, this is the last level I played. Yeah, I, I definitely had a point, I mean, earlier this week where I got the same level maybe five times in a row. It's like, okay. See this level, I don't know if you can see where I, I am. I just called in my ink strike. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's always good to try to get... Oh, shit, shit. the guy uses special. It's, all, it's always good to try to get to a high point. Yeah, you definitely. Can, you can you look can down. come down on top of people. But also, uh... Here, someone's about to... Oh, hell, he killed me. I was uh, camping as, like, his jump-in point. Like, when you, launch, or when you spawn, you can click on the screen and land anywhere, uh, as long as one of your friends is there. Uh, and it puts a little mark on the map so the other team could see it. And there's a way to silence that, like to mute that, but you could see it. And I was waiting for one of the other characters from the other team to, to pop in, and he still was able to shoot me and kill me. Hell, you are right. Oh my god, Or are using all the special right now, that's terrifying. Alright. So like I said, it's really hard to tell who's winning. The only time you can really tell if you're like definitely losing is it'll put danger by the top of your at the top of the screen by your team and that's it that's all it'll do so 
we could be winning, we could lose. I could look down at the map and I could see that blue is actually covering a ton more than what we have. But right. that's like I have to actually look down. And and this map it usually comes to this area and the this uh, the top this big square area. There's a lot of yes, kind of cover. And there's there's a smaller square area at the bottom. Yeah. It's kind of similar. Yeah, people kind of fight over that. Area. Yeah. Damn it! I didn't use my my kill streak before dying. See, I have the ink. I have the ink zooka on this one. I don't know how I feel about the ink zooka. Yeah, if if you can get decent at aiming, it definitely has its its moments, uh, but it's not great in all situations. Shoot, that one's got me. That's not play. And I think there's um I think there is going to be like a lot of different strategies in this game. Like people are going to be wondering if they should uh be trying to kill people or if they should always just be trying to cover the map. And I think there is definitely advantages to doing both. Right. I mean, like sometimes... Go ahead. So, yeah, sometimes you want to uh, be covering the map as much as possible, but, like, killing the other team prevents them from doing the same, and, and that is almost just as important. Right, yeah, it's kind of that, you know, they have the respawn timer, and then it kind of sets them back a little bit. Right. And, and so it's like, if you have a team that's, like, doing both, like, one, like, two people are focused on covering the map, and two people are focused on, like, pushing on the other team, I, that's been the kind of the recipe for success. Like this actually. whole this whole round, I've just been focusing on that one area I was talking about. It looks like we're probably going to win. Right, I've, I've actually been on the a really late push into it. Right, I've been on the other side of the map doing the same um, thing. So uh, this looks pretty close, actually. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I think we've got it though. I think it's yeah. I like this cat person. Yeah, Ooh. and I can. It's actually really hard for me to tell like who's going to win most of the time. Yeah, you, yeah, you get an idea. Yeah. yeah, I've been uh, wrong. I'm guessing. Jeff, way to be the team leader. Yeah, but we were all like really close, like all in the thousand point range. Oh yeah, a thousand points, which I assume is good. It's kinda of hard to tell <laughs> exactly like what, yeah. what they're getting. I'll tell you what, you do level up slowly. Yeah, it takes a while, uh, which I'm not sure how I feel about. I think that's sort of artificially slowed because I don't think they have a ton of uh, different weapons and stuff. So I think they want to dole them out slowly. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, there, there's a decent amount. You, I think you earn weapons up to, like, level 20. I think you get, like, about one every level or so. And you don't, like, unlock them right away. You also have to buy them. Yeah. Hey, different level. Although I've, I've had plenty of money to buy whatever weapon I've wanted. And, I, and since I've only... I've actually been focusing only on clothing and... Uh, Accessories that like have like big bonuses, like I haven't been buying everything. Right, uh, yeah, I've, I, I've just had plenty of cash. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's not a cash shortage, so that's for sure. Oh, so much so I almost wonder if maybe that kind of aspect of it is a little arbitrary. Maybe you should just unlock them with, with your level. So let me ask you, do you think that people should like hold back into their base until they've completely covered it, or should they be pushing forward? No, I think you need to. I mean. <laughs> I, again, that's kind of one of those things where ideally, if there's a lot of communication, maybe you should tell somebody to do that. But I don't know. Yeah, I, you 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 almost cover it enough, just like as they're all kind of walking out of it, that it's, it's right. kind of fine. And I think that there's a like, so you get points, like your team gets points when you cover ground. But I think, like, so if you cover like bare ground, like you're gonna get like that one point. But if you cover ground and take it away from the other team simultaneously, you're actually getting double the points because you're right. taking points away from them as well. Like, which is kind of kind of like a really important way to think about the game. I think. Especially that's when we in, start in this line. map, this fairly linear map, but usually the winner is whoever can kind of get into the other team's base and like establish a presence there. And then like the other teams kind of spend a lot of time fighting over, fighting to get theirs back. They're kind of screwed. Yeah, exactly. All right. Oh, so Jeff, I am fighting against you this time. Oh, you are? Okay, cool. So, wow, yeah, well, that's so weird. Guess, like, yeah, there's just no... They're not even going to team us up. That's crazy. That's kind of that's weird. Oh. It's nice knowing it. Well, at least we know the good guys will win. No. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, see, like, at the top of the screen right now, it's saying danger for green, uh, which is your team, I guess. Oh, so yeah, it's we like... are not doing good. Okay, but we got somebody in your face. Maybe I shouldn't have pulled for that. Yeah, I shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm looking around. Yeah, see him? Did you just mess with my head? Cause I don't see him. Anymore. <laughs> cool. All right. Now well, there's someone kind of by our fence. Yeah. Now it stopped saying danger for you. So now I know it's like things are getting closer. So there's a whoa, hell. Piss off. Is that you? Uh, no, no, I don't know. I was doing something. No, in your face. I was doing all right in there, and then I got. Like almost all dead. Yeah, you can look at the yeah. boss and you can see who's alive and where they are. Right, exactly. And that kind of 
gives you an idea of like a, sort of a quick overview, but again, it's like there's not a ton of like details about exactly what's happening. Oh, way. Well, we killed each other. Yeah, totally. I'm like, I should have had that. You got, so you arrow spray MG. That's actually one I haven't bought yet, so I don't know. And I'm level 11, you're level 7. I wonder if they dole them out differently to different people. I think that one might have been um, unlocked in uh, by, by single player. I think every time you kill one of the bosses, oh. you unlock a new one in the shop. I don't think. Okay, well, that's really interesting. That's I, I had yes. no idea. So there is there, there is a single player reward for doing And then once you beat the campaign, you unlock a set of outfits. Um, this Hello, is the... Zelda Lover 10. Sorry, we got some people in the chat. I want to say hi to. Oh. If anyone's got questions, let us know. Good guy wins. What uh, the hell? Like... That's some straight up BS. Dude, I'm just... No, I like this gun because, again, if the fire rate is really high and it, it has like a wider radius in a short geez. distance, so it's not good at far away distance. But it, it seems to me in this game, especially since you can kind of hide as a squid, most fights are really close range. That's why I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think many people are using that sniper at all. I think that the I think the sniper rifles are only going to get good at the higher levels. Uh, yeah. at, the, at the lower levels, they have a super short range, considering. And they're not great at covering ground. Which is, so yeah, it's like, which is really important, at least in this mode. Maybe there'll be other modes where that'll make more sense, but yeah, it's so important. And like, yeah, obviously the roller's really good for that, but the splatter gun does almost just as good a job, really. Right. And it's, it's, it's impossible to like coordinate and know whether or not you're going to be even be on the same team with your friends. It's like, okay, if you're going to be the guy with the sniper rifle that's like really good at going out there and killing people, like that's... All right, that's one thing, but we don't know if like that's gonna make you up know, for like the rest of the team's weapons. I wonder if ranked works differently. I wonder if maybe they make sure you were all on the same team there. I, but I don't know why they wouldn't hear if it's they have possible. that ability. Are we on the same team again now? Yes, we are. I can't tell. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm just like again. It's good to find high ground. Just kind of do your thing from up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like doing as much doing as much coverage from there as you can before like moving on. Definitely. Especially on this level, because there's like an area where the um, enemy team cannot get to. Got it. duck game. Ha. All right. Yeah, and there's like a really good like middle or high ground thing here right in the middle of the map. I'm really like spraying a spraying on walls doesn't like get you any points, but it enables you to get around faster in certain areas. Yeah, and it's, it's all about sort of an important now. strategy. I'm really liking this guns like setup. Oh shoot, special. The, yeah, uh, so, like, the guns aren't just guns. Like, they have, like, they, you can't select, like, oh, I'm going to have this gun with, like, this grenade or whatever. Like, each gun comes with, it's a certain, oh, hell, I just got killed. Unexpected. Certain, yeah, it comes with, like, one grenade and one uh, special, like, ability. Yeah, and it might not always necessarily be a grenade. Like, it's, uh, sometimes it's, like, a, like a little, yeah, or a little fence thing that, like, shoots out things so people can't pass without getting killed. Jeff, we really need to take that big area. Yeah, I'm headed there right now. Good. Yeah. Whoa. Because usually in this map, people split that of the rest of the area pretty much, so it is kind of just whatever happens over there. Right. I think they got a guy up on the tower or something. I don't know. Yeah, and there's a minute 15 left, so maybe we can still get it. That was plenty of time. Yeah, we're, yeah, I see. Yeah, we're in danger zone now. I double splat it. This is definitely super fun. It is like a very refreshing taste. Yeah, and it's it's I mean it's intense. Like I like I'm always thinking about a million different things when I'm playing this. All right, I think we have enough people here to kind of take this area over. All right, okay, I'm, I'm looking at the map, here. trying to figure out where they are. I wonder if they're probably just headed right back here. Uh, it looks like they're kind of taking a lot of the rest of the area, but yeah, they're gonna head back here at some point. They always do. That is the nice thing about not there, about there not being a zillion maps. I know them all pretty well already. Exactly, and that's really beneficial, uh, at least at this like early point in the game. Here, here like there are a point in the game's meta life, whatever. All right, I'm on the other side of the map now, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're taking over. Yeah, Tris, okay, just try to cover whatever you can. Yep. Oh, hell. So this game, more than any other shooter, has situations where both people will kill each other. Yeah. And I think it's just like the slow pace of like the way the paint's moving. I think we have this. All right, Zelda Lover 10 asks, "How did you get your hands on Splatoon early?" Well, I'm very good at kissing. <laughs> and no, uh, we're, we, we're reviewing the game. Uh, actually, the guy I talked to, Mike Inani, is a reviewer on our site. He reviewed the game, so I'm talking to him about it. Yeah, you can go to Gamespeak.com to check out my review of Splatoon. 
Yeah, it's actually up right now. It's live. It's been live since this morning, and you you liked it, right? Oh yeah, I looked. Yeah, I gave it eighty three out of a hundred. Uh, yeah, no, I did. I did like it a lot. I think the multiplayer is fun. What surprised me really was the single player campaign. I thought it was uh, like very like it was like it was almost like a Mario like a three D Mario platformer quality to it. That was kind of the big shock for me. So I think let's um, let's touch on what you didn't like while we're at it. Let's play maybe one or two more games since we've been trying. I mean, well, yeah, it seems like we have a decent run here of getting some games. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's see how long that lasts. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's uh, ride the run out and kind of see that. So yeah, tell me what didn't you like? Like what I don't know, were you taking points away for? I, um, guess. I don't know how that yeah, works. Yeah, just like the, some of the random kind of weird Nintendo things. Games. Like I, I I don't get this whole limiting the. Um, the map rotation with two maps at a time. Like, again, we've been playing for just, like, half an hour, and now we're on this map for the second time. We did that other map for the third time, you know? I don't care. And just, even if they, even if they did give us all that, there's only six maps, so right. it's like, it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense, because it's not like it would have taken that much longer to learn the other maps. Right, it's just like a weird, arbitrary decision. Like, I don't know what the reason for it is. Um, just besides, there's a lot, like, again, this mode what we're playing right here is basically, you know, the mode right now. There's another mm -hmm. one that you can play after a while that'll get become unlocked. It's just kind of a king of the hill thing. And then uh, there's, they're adding another mode later. So, you know, maybe that problem will be as bad later. But right now, there is kind of a just, you know, I hope you like this turf war mode. And it is a good mode. Yeah. It's probably what I would want to play almost anyways. But, you know, sometimes you kind of want to switch it up. Oh, God, if I could get an Inkzuka kill right now, I'd be so happy. Yes! Dang it. Yes, you just killed me with your damn Inkzuka. <laughs> oh, we're on opposite sides again. Yep. And that's a little weird, too. No. Yeah, so we're, we we did the friend mode where it's like, oh, you're gonna play with your friends, and it put us on different teams. Like, I, and that's sort of like kind of indicative of like everything that's going on with with this game in terms of like the Nintendo ness. Yeah, and it's like, well, it's, it's the Nintendo the Nintendo ness is such a double sided yes. sword, right? Because the game is like quirky and like cool and like fun, and that's kind of Nintendo ness, and that's like the good Nintendo ness, and I appreciate that. Right. But then exactly, like it's a, you're taking the good with the bad in this situation. Because, yeah, it is different. It's, like, not what you're expecting from a shooter, but it also doesn't have, like, the basic things you want from a shooter. Or it, that you most want most of the time. I'm getting wrecked. Your uh, team is absolutely killing me. This, this gun is great. I'm loving it. I actually just... Yeah, I'm voice I'm playing playing single player. Single player. So good. Yeah, uh, the uh, arrow spray MG is one that I always go up against, and it's always like you got killed by that. I'm like, yeah, I've been killed by that a hundred times. Like, yeah. So it's just like the current again. I like I keep using like these terms that maybe are better suited for other games. The current meta right now. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. A, it's a lot of meta. The Splatoon meta. It's All a right. lot of close range stuff right now. But even saying that, I still don't think the roar is a great option because I mean, you really have to kind of sneak up on somebody. Yeah, no, the roller I know was very popular early on, and I right. didn't. I, I hated it. Whoa. Um, and I, I'm sorry, I got into a firefight, and I wanted to concentrate. But uh, yeah, and it was, it is powerful in close range, it's but it's not necessarily. Kill, but... Yeah, and it's not the only way to to win. All right, I've made some inroads into your side, but then you guys were right there clearing it all up immediately. We got somebody in our base wrecking stuff. I was for a second, and then it didn't last. Uh oh. Do you think maybe matches could be a little longer than they are? Yes, they seem I kind do of think. Short. Yeah, I mean, again, it makes it intense, and there's a lot of back and forth still. But I feel like maybe like four or five minutes, there'd be even more back and forth, and that might be a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, we ha we didn't like. There's no way to even like mess around with that. I can tell. Like, there's no like custom game that I can see. no. I mean, you can see it anyway. Yeah, I know. Guys lost. Jeff, did you like? Have you ever won a game where you weren't on my team? Is that curious? <laughs> Let's not. I don't score. think we should. Look at that score, though. I don't Eight think we should kills. talk about this. Eight I don't kills. Know. We don't have to like. We don't have to dwell on this. I think that maybe there might be some other people on your team. That's the difference. I'm so sad that like all this progress is just gonna be lost. It almost kind of. It's like, oh, I'm gonna, do I want to? I know we, we're having reviewer problems. Like, yeah. Oh, like, you get the game early, but like they gave us a special like. Reviewer build, like it even says that, like when you have the game on your home screen, it's like Splatoon early review build. And so when the real game comes out, apparently they're gonna shut this all off, and we're gonna lose everything and have to buy the real game. Right, okay. And I, as much as I like the single player, it kind of sucks I'm gonna have to play it again if I want all that <laughs> stuff. Right, come on, let's get another person here. That was a good. Uh, Zelda lover, well, like, like I said, we were we were reviewing it, so that's how we got it early. 
so what's your like toasty level? That little like green thing that's like ranking how well you're playing. Like the thing I'm with the smoking. flags. <sighs> I'm still toasty. All right, this is a problem. I'm gonna have to fix <laughs> this before we finish. <laughs> so that's the other thing I actually uh, I really don't like is so we're playing on this we're on a roll but if I wanted to change my weapon and my loadout I'd actually have to back out completely like it's not like you can't do it in the middle of a match yeah you can't it's not like you can't even do it in the middle of the match you can't even do it between matches which is just crazy yeah it's, well, yeah, yeah, it's not like that you know, that's kind of a thing to do between, like, Call of Duty rounds is you kind of go through the home screen and I'll just do this. Right, yeah. And, like, you can, like, do your upgrades. If you've got, like, points and stuff, you can spend them. But, no, here you have to go all the way back to the lobby. And it's, like, yeah, it, like, it keeps the matches moving fast because you don't have to, uh, like, people aren't going to be, like, waiting around, like, doing their stuff. So it, it, you don't have to wait for that. But I don't think that's a big trade-off. Like, I don't really care about that. Like, yeah, give us a little bit longer between matches so I can actually, like, get the weapon I want to use. Right, exactly. Because especially right now, again, this might not be a problem later, but like because the matchmaking can kind of take a while, you don't want to back right. out if you're like in a group that's kind of going. Exactly. It is still it's still super satisfying and fun to like splatter a wall and kind of climb up it. Yeah, and it, it's everything about like the shooting and the way the characters move is is fun and interesting and like different. It feels different than other games, which is and it's not just different for different sake. It's different because it's like better. Jeff, we're losing here. Need to get yeah, no, I'm uh, doing what I can. Uh, Taking purple. It's not enough. Well, I'll do what you <laughs> can, apparently. You need to get over to that big blocky area. Alright, I'm headed there right now. Yeah, yeah, keep, like, slipping into the danger zone, even though I, well, no, I just got shot in the back. Duck game. Duck game. He's my buddy early. Oh, my guy's up there just causing. Alright, Mike, I am jumping on to you right now. Here we go. Okay, I'm going up here to take the one. Oh, hell! Oh, my God. See, that's the problem with Shit, the guy used his special meat and killed me. Yeah, Dark Vilk. Dark Vilk, whatever yeah, his name it's, is. It's not always a great idea to just jump on your friend when they're in a super dangerous area. Like, exactly, because they'll or... see you. Like, there is a way, like I said, there is a way to, like, mute that. Like, one of the power ups will, like, give you, like, silenced, like, jumps or whatever. Uh, but it's like that's also a trade off because then you don't get a grenade or something. This is not my best round. All right, well we got a minute left. Let's make uh, the best of it. We can make a yeah. Still plenty of time. I think uh, this might be a little clearer here. We might be able to cover this up in here. Yeah, I'm take, gonna take like the back area a little bit more. Oh come on! I hate that stupid power up where it turns into like the super squid and they become invulnerable. Oh uh, yeah. That's actually that's the one I definitely have the hardest time with because you get into these close battles and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them, and then like they magically change. Yeah, it seems like kind of the best part now. Yeah. Although I'm covering this up pretty good, I killed that guy. All right, we'll just meet here for right now. Back that way. Uh, we might win this if we can hold on for a little bit longer. Nice. Come on, rocket, go faster. Oh, I think we got it. Look at that. We were losing pretty yeah. early at one point. Yeah, it does. It kind of does kind of turn around pretty quickly sometimes, which is fun. Yeah, it could. Wow, we really won. Right? Yeah, you can, like, real. Like, exactly. If you're taking away purple and laying down your green or whatever color you are, if you're taking away from the other team, like, you can really, like, swing the pendulum super fast. How did Duck Game have zero points? I don't know. He definitely killed me. <laughs> he killed you, but had zero points. Yeah, it's probably right now. We're doing uh, let's right. try to do one more maybe. Yeah, at least let's see. And then I think yeah, keep 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 going. Here. Hey, if we if we stop doing this, we have to do real work. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna use the video from this and like make a post based on it. And, like I'm gonna count that as work today. Oh yeah, Pretty. there you go. Yeah, I'm thinking. Hmm. Fancy, fancy. So if you don't get a final retail copy from Nintendo, are you gonna go out and buy this? Um, no, and it's not because I don't like, it's, you know, if I have a lot of things to play. Right. If I knew that, like, it's kind of hard because I feel like my brothers might get this and it'd be fun to play with them. If, if, if I knew that, like, my stuff would transfer over, that's fine. This is just a completely unique problem that most people don't have to do with it. Hey, I'm Mike Zelda Lover. <laughs> nice to meet you. But, uh, yeah, so. I mean, it, it, it's kind of a weird thing to say, like, if I... If I had it played, do I, th do I think it's worth $60? If you're asking me that, I would say yes. Okay. That's right. Uh, uh, 
I, I kind of figured you thought it was worth sixty dollars, and I was I was kind of wondering like if you were on that in that area where you're like, oh, I already played it so much, and I've had the review copy it, but I'd still pay sixty dollars for it. And I cannot I understand being on the fence in that situation. Yeah, honestly, I think that. Oh, oh hell, get away from me. The Kraken, yeah, the Kraken's kind of... The Kraken yeah, might need more nerf, nerf, nerf Kraken. Yeah, Nerf Kraken. Start but, um, competition. I, I tell you what, if it was just this multiplayer mode, as much as I like it, I don't know if this is worth 60 bucks alone. It's fun, but I think having that single-player campaign being kind of a big surprise helps. I don't yeah. care. I tell you what, if you have the role where the best thing to do is, like, kind of be a squid as much as you can, and pop up... Yeah, and pop up, up like it... You have to be surprised because if people see you coming, it's so easy to take you out. Yeah, exactly. You kind of feel sneaky about it. Oh hell! Well, I was. Oh my god! There. I'm getting wrecked. I have to be here. Come on! So, yeah. So there's no chat, but we can. You can press up or down to say either "come on" or "booyah." Yeah. Which are really the two most important things in the English language. So. <laughs> Is that, do those kind of mean the same things? I feel like the context I, is important. I, yeah, I don't know. It's like, I think when you say booyah, it means like, oh, I just killed someone like that. Oh, uh, hell, god dang it. It's not that Nintendo away. doesn't want us to be mean to each other. Yeah, exactly. Like, booyah is like the harshest thing you could say. <laughs> right? And then that's yeah. like, whoa. Yeah, whoa, out. watch watch your mouth. What was it just Kiss your mother. I think that there might be a lag in this one. Oh, I, I got those guys. We're I'm, I am, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I am those guys. <laughs> you are that guy. <laughs> I am nothing if not that guy. <laughs> I believe it. Dude, we used the roller. Like I said, we could, but we'd have to like back out, and it would be a whole thing. But you can see all these other people killing us with it. Right, exactly. All right, I'm on their side, and there's someone trying to get me from behind. It seems like we're taking some, uh, some leeway now. There we go. He can kill us finally. Come on. Well, come on. There we go. Half beard. Half beard, man. Watch out for half beard. I think he's not full beard yet. And I think that uh, there is definitely a benefit to using like the powerful clothing because I think this one guy has clothing that has like. Each piece has three perks each, and it makes them much more difficult to kill. Like if they have like like three things each have like a defense up, it like takes like you know like five more shots to kill them. That makes a huge difference. See again, I kind of felt like we were losing that whole time. Then when you get to come back here and uh... yeah, and that's the thing. Like if you make those charges, like if you go to the part of the map where they aren't, you can just make a big, such a big difference in such a little amount of time. Like that's what I did. I think that's the reason I had the most points because I, when they were like on our side, like taking us out, I swam to their side and just kind of took out their whole base, and like that made the difference. I uh, battle again. I uh, can't. Well, uh, I'm into it. Let's keep going. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's it. It's a really good game. It is fun. Yeah, it is. What, especially, yeah, especially playing with a friend like this. Again, though, they do this kind of voice chat thing. We're basically talking through Skype on yeah. like, our laptops, our computers. <laughs> Can't All right, I'm toasty still, I'm plus three. Yeah, so, okay, Zelda Lover, I, I, I know you want me to use the roller, but like I said, like, I, to, in order to, like, to change my weapons, I'd actually have to back out of this lobby, go to the main, like, the main room, the main uh, common area, and switch there, and that means I might not be able to get back into this lobby, and I have to wait, and it's actually a big pain in the ass, and that is one of the negatives of the game in general. There's just some things. Are you smoking yeah. yet? Uh, no, I'm still toasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm plus two. I, no, I have, I have maxed that out before. Oh, really? Yeah, like, uh, and that's I think that's why I got to like such a high level so quickly is because it was like I think it might give you bonus points or something. Uh, but yeah, I had it was like plus nine or like almost plus ten. Yeah, okay, makes sense. I can't remember what it says at the top. I think it might still be smoking. It should be un fuego. Oh, fuego. This is the target. Right, here we are. Fresh? Cause that'd be funny. Yeah, that that would be. It makes Everything's sense. Yeah, here we are. Now that we're waiting for one person, so this is probably not going to work now. Well, let's go now. What are we doing? I'm level 12 now, though. I was level 11, so maybe I unlocked a new weapon. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm level 8. That's good to know that there are weapons in the uh, single player. I, so that, that kind of. 
right. even encourages me to play it even more than the fact that it's just really fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, there is a benefit to the multiplayer game if you play this through the single player. Yeah. And you should anyways, because it's fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like I was going to, but now I'm like going to like immediately. Like I won't play it anymore with this version because I'm. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get. I'm definitely gonna get the retail version. I'll just play it there so I can unlock it all and kind of experience it for the first time. Yeah, there you go. This this is one of those games that I think like if this was like an earlier Wii U game or like a Wii U launch game, I think it would have helped the system a lot. Yeah, it would have probably would have made that difference. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, this is kind of something that not only Nintendo's kind of been lacking for a while, but definitely this system. Yes. And, like, with other games, like, kind of, like, other shooters kind of getting played out, like, I was the biggest Call of Duty guy, and I stopped playing Advanced Warfare so fast compared to the way I played all the other Call of Duty games. Right. And I could see this, like, completely taking that spot. That's how much I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I don't don't have, like, a big shooter spot right now. While my multiplayer game is, like, Hearthstone, and now I'm trying to play some Heroes of the Storm, I guess I'm just becoming a... Maybe I won't play another shooter until Overwatch comes out. I'm just going to become a Blizzard. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. BlizzCon all the time for you. I never been to a BlizzCon. I bet that'd be fun. Yeah, it's, probably. I, people always seem to like really enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, it always looks kind of more like a fan event, but that's cool. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what makes it probably makes it fun. It's like it's not a ton of like crazy work stuff. You can just go there and have a blast. You excited for E three? Yes. How about you? Oh yeah, I always like. I, I I always I always hope I don't become one of those people who like. Right. It's like oh, don't E3. Like I'm I'm like like I think about the work and that is like stressful. But it, it's not what I think about first. I'm still thinking, like, all right, let's go to E3 and go to these conferences and stuff. Oh, yeah, I, I still think it's fun. Yeah. Now, I bet this one's not going to work, of course. Yeah, right, figures. Well, that's yep. all right. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If, yep. if he dies, he dies. <laughs> and so you don't kill anybody, you splat them. Yeah, it's just... It's everyone's just splatting each other, although that is more adult than killing, if you think about it. <laughs> Yeah, we're just spilling their guts everywhere. Yeah. And, like, letting it decorate the stage. <laughs> we're supposed most guts wins. Have you ever, um... Like, before this, when you're in the lobby to, like, to select to go into the regular mode, have you ever, like, gone to, like, to choose the mode and it's like, gives you the instructions for Turf War instead? No. So I did this, like, three times accidentally each time because it's, like, if you press, like, the Y or the X button and, like, it brings it up. And it is, like, 20 or 25 slides that you have to just keep hitting A to get through. And you can't hit start or hit B to back out. You have to just keep sliding through them, and it takes forever. It's ridiculous. Hey, um, Torres, uh, 2499 with Snoke, you can use the Pro Controller online. I don't, I don't, th- I, I don't think I don't know. so. So you would be at, at a disadvantage, uh, definitely, because... Oh, Martin. Oh, there we go. I don't think you could because then you couldn't do that thing where you tap on the player on the touch screen to kind of jump to them. Right, exactly. So you wouldn't have that option and you wouldn't be able to see the map. So like by looking down at the at the you know the Wii U gamepad, I can kind of get a quick idea of where like the, the at what area needs my most attention. Yeah. Um and like you can also kind of see like where people are painting, so you can almost get an idea of where the enemies are. And all that stuff like gives you an advantage. And if you use the pro controller, you wouldn't have that. Now I'm not. I don't know if that necessarily means you can't use the pro controller, but I, I don't know. I, I, I would actually. I'm I'm, guess I might not. Yeah, I would. I would guess not as well. Yeah. And I, I would guess that you probably wouldn't want to, even if you do like really prefer it. Yeah. If you go down there, I'm gonna kind of shoot from up yep. there a little bit. Actually, maybe I should go down. I think your weapon has more range. But too late. We didn't have time to That's think about that much. Oh hell. Think wrong. He's got a sniper rifle. Ew, someone's actually using a sniper oh, rifle. Oh, Kraken. Alright, that's coming down. Let's see if we can kind of advance on this guy. Together. Yeah, let's see. Oh, hell. I have my bazooka. Are you, did you kill your guy? Watch out behind you. Damn it. Oh. I have my bazooka. Ah, oh, we got, we got some. He got splatting. me too. So much splatting. Crack on splat roller. I don't know, dude, we're like all dead. This is not looking great. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. I'm going to jump up on. Well, nope, that wasn't the right person. Oh well. Let's get some up. Let's rebound a little here. Yep. Yeah. I'll go around the long way. I'll put this way. There we go. Five kill. Oh, half beard again. Take it. I wonder how many of these other people are playing with it just streaming also. I feel like I yeah, no other reason for anybody to be playing this game right now. Alright, right, going to high ground. Yeah, we're doing alright. I see this. Uh... Oh, yeah. I already killed him. Oh no, I got him. Got Sweet. Him. 
Yeah, I don't even know. I didn't even know he was there. I think he was like hiding on top of these boxes. Yeah, he was. All right, there's another press here. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm uh, gonna head to the other side. Oh, okay. here comes the roller. Yeah. And of course he crackens right into me. God, that is frustrating. That makes the the roller like even more cheap. I feel like. Yeah, the cracking and roller is definitely a good combo. Oh, there's a lot of guys. Yeah, because it's like he gets in a situation where, all right, I'm gonna die. All I do is turn into the invulnerable kraken and run into this guy, and then they're dead. But I mean, I guess I it's all, I guess like, it's like the roller is kind of something that has disadvantage. I guess it's, it's, it's fine in a way. Yeah, I, it, Dude, just, I think over here. I'm not used to it because it's. I think it's, it is. You're right. It has become like the meta. Like that's what you're, you need to be using if you're using the roller. And I'm just. I've been so used to these guys with rollers that like don't do that. So I need to just change the way I play. They've taken over the back end again. Yeah. Uh, Taurus wants to know if we can try. We'll, we'll, I'll look into it, Taurus. Find out about that. Um. Thing. Yeah. I, actually, let me. Uh, I have one. If you uh, follow me on Twitter, Jeff Grubb. Uh, just J E F F G R U B B, or just come to Games Beat. When I post this video, I will have tried it and I'll let you know. Cause I, I have one here sitting around here somewhere. We're talking for it's like it, it's, it's very hard to. We don't like want to leave our current lobby because exactly cause like that. No one's playing to get rid except for reviewers. I think we're gonna lose this one, Jeff. This is the yeah, first one we lost in a while, though. There's one I yeah, lost in a while. Oh man, I just fell off the edge because the game like ended like right there. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we definitely lost. Oh, man, we got destroyed. Again, yeah, whoever has that part in the top there usually wins the up, man. I didn't play really. I played mediocre. Really. Yeah, I got killed five times. That was my issue. Stupid Emmanuel was dead. Lord. All right, I think that should probably do it. Yeah. We should probably yeah, go back, back to our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, Mike. So, yeah, thanks for playing. That was fun. Yeah, was I time. enjoyed it. I hope I... I hope I uh, was able to maybe help some people who are interested in this game. comes out uh, on the 29th. Yeah, and like I said, we'll, uh, I'll post a video online. Uh, so if you have any more questions, we'll, you can always get us there on the comments or get us on Twitter. Mike, you're Tokoto, T-O-L-K-O-T-O. T -O -L -K -O -T -O -L -K -O -T -O at the end. Okay, and I'm, and I'm Jeff Grubb. So <laughs> follow us there. And, uh, yeah, and get us on uh, on GameSpeed as well. Maybe my Twitter should be a little bit more professional. <laughs> I am Tokoto. <laughs> I, sound, I sound like some sort of elf. Yeah, you yeah you sound like a magic character of some sort. Yeah, yeah. and you're you're Jeff Grubb. I'm 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 Jeff Grubb. Well, now that makes me feel kind of like not creative. So yeah, has its advantages. All right, guys, I'm I'm in in the stream. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks, uh, guys. And Torres, I'll, I'll I'll let you know. Just get me on on Twitter, and I'll find out for you. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.